Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Lauren and I have a brand new Trader Joe's haul to share with you guys. I finally made it down to Trader Joe's for a fall haul of some new items, seasonal items, and also our pantry and freezer staples that we always get when we go there. I live a good 40 minutes away from my nearest Trader Joe's, so I only get out there maybe once a season or every other month, and when I go, I load up big. So I have all this plus an entire cooler that I pack in my car to bring back some frozen and cold items. So I'm going to be sharing all of those with you guys today. I'll be including all WW plan points as well as prices. Now prices could vary depending on your store and where you're located. I'm currently located in the Atlanta, Georgia area. Before we get into today's haul, I quickly want to thank today's video sponsor, Drop. Okay guys, tomorrow is the day I'm finally heading down to Trader Joe's to get my fall Trader Joe's shopping haul done. Of course, before I head down there, since I don't get a chance to go very often, I'm setting together my meal plan for the week as well as a shopping list so I don't miss out on any of the seasonal items I've been looking forward to trying. But one other thing I always do before heading out to shop for groceries, for clothes, for household items is to check my Drop app. You guys know I have loved using the Drop app for the last few months it has become my absolute favorite free shopping rewards app I earn points just for doing my normal everyday weekly shopping and these points then turn into free gift cards to places I love linking a debit or credit card is the easiest way to earn points through the drop app when you link your cards in the app drop tracks your purchases and automatically drops those points into your account so they can build up and you can redeem them for a gift card of your choice you can shop directly through the drop app online or you can also shop in store using your linked card. No need to scan receipts or clip coupons anymore. So that means tomorrow when I head into Trader Joe's to do my big fall shopping haul, all I have to do is use my linked debit card that's already linked to the Drop app and I will automatically earn rewards for my purchase. Also by linking a card, you're gonna be able to take advantage of some amazing offers that are only available to Drop members who have linked a debit or credit card to their account. These offers include so many brands that I love like Target, Amazon, even Uber. And compared to so many of the other shopping rewards apps, Drop by Far has the best linked card offers because you have the ability to shop online or in person in store. I typically do a regular grocery haul weekly or bi-weekly on walmart.com for a pickup order. I always make sure to go into my Drop app and shop through walmart.com through Drop because I can earn extra bonus points that are gonna add up to my rewards total and get those free gift cards. Using the Drop app, I am confident I'm getting the best deals the best card linked offers while having the ability to shop in store or online. I'm earning rewards while shopping at my favorite stores like Target and Trader Joe's. And you don't even have to shop to earn. You can also go through their app, play games, or answer short surveys and earn more points towards your gift card redemption. So if you want to start earning your own rewards through the Drop app, make sure to check out the link below in my description. Download Drop through the App Store or Google Play and use my code to receive a $10 bonus in the app that you'll receive in the form of 10,000 points after you earn your first 1,000 points shopping, playing games, or answering surveys through the Drop app. This reward app really does work. I've earned 27,000 points over the course of the last couple months, and I'm so excited that I finally get to redeem those points for a $25 gift card to a store of my choice. Here are all the offers that I can redeem my points for. Which gift card would you guys choose? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you again to Drop for sponsoring today's video. So guys, I loaded up today. I spent right around $152. Again, we have some weekly groceries that I'm going to be using for our meal plan this week, as well as things to restock my freezer, our pantry, and a couple fall treats. Fall is honestly my favorite time of year to shop at Trader Joe's. They always have really great seasonal things. They have great things around the holidays and Christmas time, but fall is my favorite. So I'm gonna unload these bags, set everything out, and give you guys an up close look at everything I got today. Let's get started my freezer stuff first so I can get it put away. I bring this um, medium sized cooler in the back of my car and it keeps everything rock hard frozen as long as you get enough frozen stuff without needing extra ice or anything so that's how i bring freezer stuff home from 40 minutes away from a grocery store without anything getting melty or worried about going bad so let's get through this real quick 
I got cauliflower gnocchi. This is one of our favorites. We love putting these in the air fryer and then we use them almost like little dippers with a marinara sauce. And then this is clutch classic. Every time I always restock our mandarin orange chicken, I get two packages as well as the chicken fried rice, two packages. We use this as an easy go-to weeknight dinner a lot of the times. Another thing I love having stocked in our freezer is this fire roasted bell pepper and onion mix. This makes it so easy to put together a yummy, savory, and filling breakfast. You can do eggs with hash browns, these peppers, some chicken sausage. I always love to stock up on their veggies at Trader Joe's. They're a great price and a great quality. So I got two packages of their broccoli florets, and I also got a package of their French style green beans. This makes such an easy side dish for dinners. Another easy side dish that's super fast on weeknights when you don't have a lot of time is their steamable bags of rice. So I picked up one package of the organic jasmine rice, one package of the organic brown rice. Each package has three pouches inside that have two cups worth of cooked rice each. They're frozen. You pop them in the microwave for three minutes. They cook so quickly and honestly, they're not mushy at all. It's such a good texture for the rice. I rarely make rice on the stovetop anymore because these are just so easy and fast. Last freezer item, but probably the most exciting, their mini hold the cones. These are one of my family's absolute favorites. They were all out of them the last time I went to Trader Joe's. So Lila came with me today, that's my three-year-old. She asked for some of the vanilla ones. They're just these tiny little cones. They're, this is literally like the size they are. Um, they're like little three bite cones. They're perfect for little kids if you want just a small dessert after dinner or for adults. They make a great sweet bite at the end of the night without going overboard on a ton of dessert. So we got the vanilla that's coated in chocolate as well as their seasonal pumpkin ginger. I remember these from last year and I swear guys, I almost bought three boxes, but I was like, whoa, slow it down. We'll get one of each. So if you guys see something in my haul that looks good, make sure you run out to your Trader Joe's because their seasonal items sell out so fast sometimes. So I'm lucky I grabbed these. It's already October 1st is the day I'm filming this haul. So many of their items were already low on quantity or they've just been restocked after having sold out. So Go grab those seasonal items if you find something you like in today's haul. And just like that, I got the freezer stuff put back in the freezer. So I picked up this caramelized onion dip. Something I've been loving doing lately is doing like a thin sliced chicken breast and then using dips to place on top to season the chicken and mix up your typical baked chicken. A lot of times I'll put it in the air fryer too. It cooks so fast and is so good. This one comes out to two tablespoons for 70 calories. But honestly, whenever I make the um, thin sliced chicken breasts, I normally only use about one tablespoon of a dip for topping it. So that's only gonna be 35 calories. It's going to season up the chicken really well and make it just something a little bit special. I've also used their jalapeno cauliflower dip that is really good also their original garlic spread uh, one of our all-time favorites I wanted to mix it up this time though because I got both of those last time I went to Trader Joe's so we're gonna do the caramelized onion dip and that'll be on our menu this week is caramelized onion chicken and then for my husband Josh he loves bringing soup to work it is officially soup season it is October things are finally starting to cool down here in Georgia I picked up two of these unexpected broccoli cheddar soups these are so good. We had them last year, last fall they came out. And we normally get at least two servings out of one of these containers. We'll do this for dinner one night or he'll bring a package of it to work and have it for a couple different lunches over the course of the week. So 220 calories for one serving, which is one cup. Those soups are a really good item to pick up if you're looking for a fridge stocking item because if you check the expiration dates, those don't expire until November 10th. So as long as they stayed sealed, we could go through one next week for dinners and we have the whole rest of the month and then some to use it for lunches. So those actually have a really good shelf life for a refrigerated item. Speaking of soup season, you guys are like, Lauren, that's a pasta salad. I know. And this is delicious as a pasta salad if you're looking for an easy lunch. However, my favorite way to eat this is as a Mediterranean orzo chicken soup. So how I use this for chicken soup is I put one chicken breast in the bottom of a crock pot. I put four cups of chicken broth in with it along with the juice of one lemon. I will also toss in some salt and lemon pepper at that time to season up the broth and the chicken. Cook that on low for about four to six hours just until your chicken is cooked through and you can shred it. Add the shredded chicken back into the broth mixture and then right before serving, 
plop this whole pasta salad right into your crock pot and give it a stir. We like to top ours with a little extra fat-free feta cheese or maybe some extra Kalmada olive sliced up. It is so good. It is so both fresh because of the lemony zing that you add with the lemon juice, as well as like homey and warm and comforting because it's a soup. So that is on our menu for this week for sure. We're gonna be eating a lot of soup, but we're excited for soup season finally. Sorry if I'm a little nasally sounding, guys. I am at the tail end of what I hope is the end of a cold. We've kind of been struggling through some colds back to back in our house already. The change of seasons, my daughter's starting school for the first time. So that's probably also another reason why soup sounded so good when I was at the store today. It's because it's like all I've been eating for the last week. But at least now we have some different flavors to refresh the soups and it's not the same old chicken noodle every day. So really quick, I obviously am shopping for myself, but also my husband and my three-year-old daughter who is in preschool three days a week. So I do have a few snack items I let her pick out at the store. She loves these cereal bars. So we got a blueberry as well as an apple version. These are a new item. She loves the original peanut butter Bamba. It's just like a puffed peanut snack. They're super easy for little ones. She used to eat them all the time when she was like one, two years old. But these ones are a mix up to the original. They're the same puffed peanut corn snack, but they have a hazelnut cream filling inside. So kind of like Nutella. I love talking to the Trader Joe's crew members. They have all the best ideas on how to use things or to give you a better insight of what a new product tastes like. Thank you, Nick, for selling me on these. He said they were really good. He only allows himself to buy one bag a week though because he like eats them all in one sitting. But I think these will be great for Lila um, to bring as a snack for school or to munch on at home. It says it's three servings, 150 calories per serving. Another snack for Lila. These are their cheddar rocket crackers. She loves these. They're basically goldfish, but they're shaped like rockets. And finally for her lunchbox, these little packages of granola bites are so good. She loves granola. They have little chocolate chips in them, which she loves. These are vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free. So they're a great option if you're looking for some um, allergy-friendly items to bring to school. Lila doesn't have any allergies. We're very lucky in that regard. And her school isn't very restrictive. She doesn't have any kiddos in her class that um, have allergies, but these are a good option if you are looking for something in that realm. So these um, have five individual packages of these bites in them. One pack is 110 calories and there's a good handful of these little granola bites they're like little balls probably like this big like an inch um, so they're not too big but they're also big enough that kids will take more than one bite and not pop the whole thing in their mouth and you guys know I can't leave Trader Joe's in the fall without some treats sorry guys I kind of jumped straight into the haul today if you guys are new I have been following the WW program for over two years now and I've lost almost 80 pounds. And I do have treats in my haul along with some healthy things. Trader Joe's is a splurge for me. I love going there for seasonal items every other month or so. And they're things that we keep in our freezer or pantry and we just pay attention to portion sizes and have them as occasional treats. But that is definitely something I had to work on to be able to do that in my house. Because there's definitely a time when I could have brought one of those packs of cookies home and we as a family would have devoured it over the course of two days. Because we've been on plan for a while, we've gotten so much better at portion control and learning healthy lifestyle balance between eating healthy things and then having treats on occasion that that's something we're able to do now. So you will see some fun treats along with healthy items in this haul and in all of my hauls. I still do it on my weekly grocery hauls too, not just my specialty hauls at Aldi or at Walmart. We'll still pick up fun treats or things to do baking with with my daughter and I love to bake on my channel. So that is something we've just adjusted how we eat those things in our healthy lifestyle. So we don't deprive ourselves of any particular food. There are no bad foods in our minds. It's all about portion and balance. So let's take a look at these fun fall treats I have planned for the next couple months. It's October 1st. How could I say no to some Halloween Jojo cookies? These are just like Oreos, their Trader Joe's version. And look at how cute they have little pumpkin faces. So my daughter loves Jojo cookies. And to be honest, my husband loves Oreos and always has as well. I'm pretty sure when I first met him and he was a bachelor, he lived off of hot dogs and Oreos. That is no longer our lifestyle, but he'll be happy to have some Oreo kind of cookies in the house this month. Someone heard me say cookies. Are you a cookie monster? Which ones did you pick out at the store? Did you pick these out? 
These are the petite pumpkin spice cookies. Lila picked these out. These are great with a cup of tea. Lila, no, you're gonna crush them. Okay, stop the toddler from sneaking away with all the cookies. So she picked these out as well, the petite pumpkin spice cookies. These are so delicious with like a cup of tea in the evening as a great little end of the night snack. There are pretty small cookies. Four of them are a serving for 130 calories, but usually if I'm having them as an evening dessert, I'll do two cookies with like a cup of tea and call the night. And it is definitely pumpkin season. So I picked up one of their pumpkin bread and muffin mixes. This is so nice because you add eggs, oil, and water. So what I do to lighten this up just a smidge is I still add the eggs. Anytime there's oil called for in a baking recipe, I do an even swap out for unsweetened applesauce and you can use it as a one-to-one -one swap. So if it calls for a half cup of vegetable oil, I'm gonna use a half cup of applesauce instead. You can take out the points and calories of the oil and it still makes a really moist and delicious either bread or muffins. We'll probably do mini muffins. Another pumpkin season item is the pancake waffle mix. We love using these for some fun weekend pancakes. I will say this is not an all-in-one plus water mix. You do have to add some other items to make these pancakes, but they're kind of a special treat throughout the October season. We love making these for a special like Halloween breakfast on Halloween morning, and it'll be perfect because Halloween actually falls on a weekend this year. One last Lila item I forgot. She wanted to pick out some cereal, so she picked out some peanut butter panda puffs. We've actually never tried these before. Normally she gets the... Um, the Trader Joe's O's, which are like the Cheerios. She gets either the plain or the honey nut flavor or the strawberry flavor she really likes. But she wanted the panda ones this time. So I grabbed some of these. She's just gotten to the point where she'll eat like some cereal with milk as breakfast in the morning. Or she likes these dry as well in like a little cup for snack time. For pasta this time around, I grabbed some of the vegetable radicori. This looks so fun. It's a great fun rainbow pasta. There is some sort of vegetable in here, I guess. I honestly did not really read too much into that with the ingredient list, but here is the ingredients if you're looking for that. So this looked fun. I don't know yet if I'm gonna do this as like a hot pasta, maybe with some rustic cut up veggies, like zucchini and squash in there with like an olive oil dressing and Parmesan, or um, another route I could go is to use this for pasta salad. That'd be fun too. My daughter absolutely loves these tortellinis with pesto filling. We've used these before for soup, for pasta salad, just made up as tortellini with sauce for dinner. So lots of ways to use these. I got a couple kinds of crackers today. I grabbed some of these pita bite crackers because I thought we could use it with that caramelized onion dip, um, whatever the dip is left over that we don't use for that chicken meal for dinner. So I have these. My husband and I like to do little like charcuterie plates as our evening snack instead of dessert a lot of times. I'm sometimes more in a savory mood than a sweet mood. So that's when we'll do things like a little bit of crackers plus fruit and some cheese. And it is so good just to sit down and have those little um, snack plates at night while we watch a movie. So this is another one of my go-to favorites. I absolutely love these cheese sticks, the cheddar ones from Trader Joe's. They are so, so good. These are some great ideas. You can use them as like salad toppers. We just typically eat them as crackers plain, but I guess you could use them with dips. Two sticks of them are 90 calories. I did not pick up a ton of fresh produce today because usually I get my fresh produce from Aldi or Walmart weekly. And so I didn't want to overstock on things. I did pick up some of their organic rainbow carrots. I love having rainbow carrots in the house. They're so much more popular in the fall season. They are absolutely beautiful to do roasted in your oven or in your air fryer. They're such a fun, festive vegetable. They make a great side dish for holidays. These are so great. And honestly, they're easy enough too that I don't just make them on the holidays. I'll make them for a weeknight dinner side dish as well. And then I also picked up these little guys. This is totally new for me. I've never even heard of kiwi berries before. Apparently you don't peel them or have to cut them or anything. They almost are like an odd, large, firm grape, but you wash them and then you just eat them. So I think we need to taste test this one because my curiosity can't wait any longer. Okay, so I washed it real quick. It's not too firm. It does feel like it's firm on the outside, like you're not gonna easily squish it, but it has give to it, kind of like a kiwi. I know this said a kiwi berry, but sometimes I feel like fruits have names and they don't really taste that much like whatever they're associated with, like a kiwi. This is straight up a miniature kiwi. And I don't have to peel it. 
that's really good. Another favorite, I've gotten these the last few times I've been to Trader Joe's. These are the rolled corn tortilla chips in the chili lime flavor. These are kind of like Takis. Um, they are so good. I love them because they're just spicy enough. They have a great flavor but they're spicy enough that I can't eat too many of them in one sitting, so it's like natural portion control. Um, but at the same time, I love to snack on these, just have a few of them with lunch, or another thing I've done with them, and I will link the video in the iCard above, where I used these to make a crust on chicken breast, and it was so good, you guys. That is also on the menu for this week. Next, I grab some British style crumpets and I'll put these in the air fryer or in the toaster and then just spread a little light butter on them. You could do them savory with like soft boiled eggs, kind of like an eggs benedict, or you can go sweet and do um, butter or jam or something like that on them. I picked up some traditional Indian style flatbread. This is something my daughter loves and I'll actually pack this as an idea for her lunches at school. I'll take a flatbread and cut it up into smaller pieces and then I pack her hummus and carrots and then she'll just do those and have like a dips style little lunchable. Normally on my channel, you guys see me make my own zero point marinara sauce. So this is something that's a little bit different. These sauces all have points, but it was something different to mix it up. Obviously I will take them into account when I'm cooking. This one is something we haven't tried. It's been out for a while at Trader Joe's though. So I don't think it's seasonal. I think you should be able to get this for a while yet. It's the spicy chunky tomato pepper pasta sauce. But my idea for this is to use it with some chicken sausage and roast veggies and skip the pasta and just do like a hearty veggie chicken sausage in sauce kind of meal. Their roasted garlic marinara is really good. It does have some sugar in it that's how you know if you can count a sauce as zero points or not just check the ingredients label it does say sugar therefore this is going to have points that you're gonna have to count on the ww plans and then this was something a little different i've never tried this before i'm not gonna be able to say the name correctly Cacio e pepe pasta sauce. So it says with pecorino, romano cheese, and black pepper. So I think this is maybe gonna be like an Alfredo sauce. Um some sort of a cheesy sauce. So we'll see. I'll have to like almost open it and taste it before I figure out how I'm gonna cook with it. But it was something different and I thought we should grab a new item to try. Garbanzo beans. I keep forgetting to pick these up when I go to the grocery store. I saw a recipe I really wanna try in the air fryer where you season garbanzo beans and you just cook them up in the air fryer and they become crunchy, almost like a savory chip substitute for a snack. I always pick up more Trader Joe's minced garlic when I'm there. And then a couple more seasonal items. This is the cinnamon bun spread. We got this last year, it is so good. Yes, guys, it is pretty much packed with sugar. One tablespoon is 60 calories, but if you use it sparingly on top of maybe one of the um, crumpets or on a piece of toast, I also have some ideas for using maybe two ingredient dough to do some cinnamon bun bites. So I'm gonna maybe try that out and I'll share it on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed if you wanna check out that recipe coming up soon. And then this is maple butter. Josh and I fell in love with maple butter and maple products when we met living in New Hampshire. So this is kind of nostalgic for me. I love maple butter. It is so good on toast or drizzling it in oatmeal in the morning. So again, packed with sugar, but it is just plain old organic maple syrup and they just whip it. That's all it is. And then the final item, we couldn't forget Millie this time. Trader Joe's always has some really fun treats for your pets for the season. So this is a pumpkin recipe dog treat so they're little tiny pumpkins you do have to be careful because honestly with all the other pumpkin goodies uh I don't want us to accidentally eat dog treats so they'll go in Millie's little canister um uh, this just popped open in the car the package isn't open yet maybe we should give one to Millie and taste test it out good girl Mills oh it's a pumpkin treat he says thanks mom you think she likes it Good choice, Lila picked out the pumpkin ones. And one final treat for the humans, Trader Joe's comes out with their Danish Kringles. Seasonally, they come out with new flavors. I think at the holidays, they do like a pecan one and an almond one. This is their fall one this year. It's pumpkin caramel Kringle. And guys, these are decadent. They are so good. 
obviously a little bit naughty. One slice is 210 calories if you split it into 12 servings. So my plan for this is actually, we're gonna have some tomorrow morning. And when I go to cut it up, I'm going to portion them into one ounce servings. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put them into a gallon freezer bag and freeze them. That way we can have little treats that are pre-portioned out. I'll be able to figure out the points and I'll write the points on the baggie. And then on the weekends or on a special occasion, we will grab out a slice and we'll be able to enjoy them over the next month. These freeze really, really well. So it's nice to be able to pick one up and not have to eat the whole thing or way overindulge. You can portion it out and freeze them to enjoy over the next few weeks. Okay guys, again, this is not my typical weekly grocery haul. It includes a lot of fall specialty items, a lot of treats, but it's because we only head over to Trader Joe's once every other month or once a season. This is probably the only time I'm going to get to Trader Joe's this fall. So I picked up a number of things we can put away in our pantry and freezer and enjoy over the next two months and enjoy some fun fall flavors. Thank you guys for joining me for this super fun Trader Joe's fall haul. Hit the like if you enjoyed seeing this fun seasonal haul with WW points and prices. Hit the subscribe so you don't miss out on my next haul. And until next time, bye! I hope it's too